everybody and thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be looking at your future spouse so who are you going to marry what are they like how are they going to treat you emotionally physically who they are as a person and also what is your sex like so here we go okay take a deep breath and let your intuition guide you this is pile one two three and four and when you're ready, just click your timestamp in either the description or in a pinned comment. I think for um, people on mobile phone, you have to use the one in the comment to be able to skip to your pile, but I'll have it in both places. And when you're ready, we'll get started. For those of you who chose group number one, I have so many cards. First, I pulled a little bit about what is their love language gonna be like with you? And for that, we have um, fuchsia, which is true feelings. African Violet Spirituality, ooh. Wow, okay, Gardenia, I hope I said that right, which is Awareness, and then Mexican Marigold, which is Renewal. This is so beautiful, I have chills everywhere. Okay, so the love language of this person and just a little bit more information, first of all, it's gonna be based in spirituality and awareness. So I think if you guys aren't already awake, then this, marriage is going to happen when you fully awaken and have your awakening and you're going to meet this person and the relationship first of all is going to cause a renewal so a lot of times for a lot of you guys i'm feeling like your spiritual awakening is either not been easy or it's not going to be very easy like i feel like maybe if you haven't been through it already some shitty things are going to go down in life and that's going to be what prompts you to awaken but when you come out of that you're going to be a completely renewed person and whoever you're going to marry is either going to help you through that or you're going to meet them directly after you've kind of done that for yourself through other situations because it says time to begin again stronger and better so if you have went through a period in time where you kind of had to start over from scratch then i think this is around the corner for you and if not it's coming it's it's going to be there um and here's what's beautiful we also have this true feelings card so with this person and the fact that they're so grounded in spirituality, they've already done their work. This is not a person you're going to meet and they're going to have all this soul work left to do. So there's not going to be any of those core traumas that come out that you have to heal. This is just from the get go. You're going to be able to be honest and true with each other and it's going to be grounded in spirituality. And because you at this point, if not already, have done so much soul work and they have too, there's going to be so much awareness and respect in the relationship. Look, I still have chill bumps. Like I'm so, the energy off of this pile is so beautiful. I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, so that's their love language. Let's look and see who they are to maybe give you an idea of where you're gonna meet. All right, three of swords, three of cups, six of cups, strength princess of wands and judgment okay so with the three of swords here this sort of backs up the fact that you have either already been through a hard time or you are gonna and i don't say that to scare you i'm not saying it's gonna be a really hard time or a really shitty time but there there there's a rocky road ahead and that's life you know it's not like i'm foreshadowing some awful event it's just life has ups and downs You'll go through it down, but that's to be expected, you know? It could also mean that he was severely hurt at some point in his life, and that may have been his turning point. Because again, when you meet this person and then you progress towards marriage, they've already done their soul work. So I think some sort of heartbreak, maybe they lost someone or got cheated on because this could also indicate third party situations. But this, whatever happened to this person was so pivotal. I can never say that word. Whatever happened to this person was so pivotal important that it shaped who they were and it's become a part of their core identity not in a bad way it's just they realize how far they've come from this situation so it really has shaped who they are now we also have three of cups so i think that you are going to meet this person in a social situation so maybe out with your friends or someone else is going to introduce you guys like a mutual thing either way it has to do with being social, is that light doing something weird? But it has to do with being social or someone else. And it's in a happy way. It's not It's not like um, 
nothing shady is gonna come of it. You guys are either gonna meet through a mutual friend or it's going to be out somewhere, like at a bar or maybe even at work, just somewhere out. I, that sounds dumb because that's pretty much the only other place that you meet people. <laughs> but, but I don't think it's gonna be like online or anything. So just some sort of like social gathering. Six of Cups and Strength coming out together tells me that this person, again, this goes right back. I'm telling you, whatever poor, poor dude went through really fucked him up, but it needed to in order for him to progress in life because this is sort of like a, a the oh, woe is me card because there's those four empty cups and there's two cups that are full. Now, this has had do this potentially has double meaning. So this is, you know, him meeting you, but also he got to this point where he realized he had to leave. He couldn't stay there. And basically he was throwing himself a big fucking pity party over whatever was going on in his life. It got to the point where he just couldn't do that anymore. And he pulled himself out of a really horrible, awful depression. But him being able to do that showed him that he has that strength within him. And I think that that's why this thing shaped his, per his perspective so much because he realized oh, like I've got all that I need right here. I don't need validation from this other person. And that's kind of, or situation, maybe I, it could not be, again, it could be losing a family member or someone really close to him, or it could be a relationship because that there's nothing too specific in here. But, you know, if it, if they did lose something, either way, I believe it's loss, but he, he was, fuck, what am I talking about? He realized that he needs to pay attention to what's in front of his face and stop focusing on what he doesn't have. And him being able to do that completely changed his life. Um, also, sort, sort of unrelated, he's a very good judge of character. So this judgment card, I don't think it's saying that he is judgy. I think he's very good at admitting when he's wrong and coming to fair resolutions. And I just, I, I think he's very fair. This isn't the, the balance card or temperance or anything, but it, it's giving me those kind of vibes, especially with the rest of these cards. He, and he's also just like a good judge of character. So he's not going to let anybody around you, um, that sketch. And it's very almost like an authority figure in a way. And then we have princess of wands and pay no mind to the gender. This is just saying that this person is incredibly creative. So he could be an artist of some kind or she, again, not necessarily gender specific. This very well could be gender specific actually, <laughs> but a very creative person and a very, very free spirit. You know, they're like, they're so liberated and they're so free and they're so spontaneous. Like they'd probably wake you up in the middle of the night to like drive to Georgia for breakfast. Well, I don't know, depending on where you live. I'm from North Carolina, so Georgia's far, but it ain't that far, you know what I mean? We're two states down, you know, something that's like six, six hours out of the way just for the hell of it. But again, oh my God, you guys, like, it's going to be so playful and so fun. And he is going to be aware of what you are and who you are and of the importance of you in his life. Ooh, I just got that message. I feel like upon his self-reflection he realized what he did wrong in his other relationship and so he's never going to take someone else for granted ever again so and oh that goes back to that awareness card all right so let's see here i also pulled three from the wild unknown we have will of fortune yeah so like oh my god and two of cups this is such a harmonious relationship and nine of pentacles okay so uh this is amazing this is like success and victory and very very grounded so it's not success with an ego it's very genuine and true success which goes back to this whole spirituality thing two of cups if you've watched tarot videos you probably know especially on love connections this is a very harmonious partnership and it's it's that it's partnership it's not like one of you is up here and one of you is down here i got a phone call right in the middle of that and i have no idea what i was saying i think we talked about nine pentacles victory success two of cups but also the wheel of fortune which means change so i think when you meet this person a good sign that it's going to be this person is either when you're going through a change or 
when you meet this person, it's going to be one of those like, oh, and then I, I don't know. I feel like your view on a lot of things in life are going to change because maybe you're a person who doesn't necessarily believe in love at first sight or something like that. Or maybe this is more on his side. But yeah, you look at all this, like both of you have been through so much and done all of this work. So when you guys get together, it's just going to be such a change for both of you because up until this point of meeting each other, you guys have been dealing with a bunch of bullshit, either with other people or in life. But yeah. Okay. So another card I pulled was the light field, which is so beautiful. This relationship is just so playful and light and loving like loving in such an absolutely playful spirit because this three of cups is also about eat drink and be merry it's that kind of energy so that's that on that but let's get into the juicy stuff of what is your sex going to be like and let me tell you so many cards specifically about sex jumped out and i was like that you know whatever can't be when a whole lot comes out i'm just like that was just a you know a fumble on my part but i shuffled again and the some of the exact same cards came out in the same amount. So here we go. We have Knave of Swords. So this tells me that he is going to love your body. Um, also some playful nibbles here and there, if you're into that. We also have Seven of Swords, which again is all about taking time. This kind of looks sad, but the meaning of this card is tasting just tastes but also I feel like you make this dude think a lot this guy might get in his head about you and that might be like a negative quality coming out because I think you're a bit aloof because I don't think he shares it with you but overall this is just about the taste of it all if you know what I'm saying I don't want to get too explicit but oh, that message just came through all right explicit warning he loves the taste of you Okay. Queen of Swords. So this, he's willing to do whatever for you. And you're going to let him. And this could be the first time that you're going to accept that. I think that this person is going to make you so comfortable with accepting. And he is just, and she's kind of putting on a show for him. Um, traditionally, she's very aloof and she's very like, stern where like if she doesn't get off she's just kind of done with the dude so she sends him away but this interpretation I just feel like it's more about he kind of wants to watch you pleasure yourself and just kind of be in the background while that's happening we also have two of wands and this card tells us that sexually you guys are just like you do everything together this is going to be like your best friend and so you'll just be sitting there having dinner like she's kind of playing footsie with him to be in the middle of dinner you'll be in the middle of dinner and then he is ready to go just nearness just like constantly wanting to be together and I think it's because you're gonna be in your own world because you finally found somebody that clicks with you mentally spiritually emotionally on all levels and so once you guys meet each other and commit to each other that's a wrap you're not even really going to want to be near a whole other lot of people because you guys have what you guys want. So it's all about nearness and closeness. Oh, intimacy. That's the word. Pure, real intimacy. And that's not always sexual. That could be like brushing each other's hair or feeding each other. Just being so intimate with one another. Look, he, look, he is balls deep into telling her this story and she's hanging on every word. Okay. We also have eight of wands, which is savoring. So it goes right back to him loving the way you taste. He loves the way your skin tastes. He loves the way your juice tastes. He loves absolutely everything about, he just finds you, oh, like delectable. Is that the word? If you've watched my channel before, you know I fuck up my words a lot but tasty just oh like a delicacy Ooh, i love it okay we also have four of swords which is so funny because i think earlier i said he wanted to i wouldn't i knew that i was not picking up on the 
true interpretation of that card because I was saying he wants to watch you. Um, this card is all about masturbation. So I was dead on the money with that one. It's not necessarily that like she's a cold ass bitch. It's that he wants to watch her please herself. And that is backed up with this masturbation card. And again, it's just so intimate. Like they almost look like monkeys in the jungle. <laughs> like so free and liberated and just fucking around with each other. Like he's got his fingers in her mouth. But he's like soup, it's almost like just so primal. And to wrap it all up, we have what the fuck is this? Knave of Wands, which backs everything else up because this is like pure abandon. Just you're the only two people that are there, nothing else matters. I think you guys are gonna get into some kinky situations in public because just nothing else matters. It's just you and this other person when you guys are together. And honestly, he's so fixated on you. In every single one of these cards, it's, it's about your pleasure. And that's good because I get also the feeling that you guys are natural born givers. And I feel like that's something that has been taken advantage of your entire life. And you're finally going to meet a person who makes you accept it and makes you take what's yours and feel good. It's not about their pleasure. They're going to get theirs and they know that. So they're not worried about that. So they are solely focused on you. And by making you feel good, they know they're going to get theirs. They know they're going to come. They're not worried about themselves. Every single one of these cards, guys is about you. I'm gonna like show them to you again and with that in mind. Well, this one's kind of a two-way street, but this can even, maybe he's not the one telling the story. Maybe she's just talking about her day and he is just like hanging on to it and giving her advice. Oh, okay, I just got another message. He's going to be into whatever you want to talk to him about. Like a lot of times when you get with a guy and you come home and like there's drama at work and you're like, guess what Becky did? And your dude doesn't really give a fuck. This guy is going to be up in the tea with you wanting to know because you're his best friend. He's going to be invested in absolutely everything that, that you have to say. Well, well, this picture is weird, but we already talked about that. Look at that. It's all about you. Finally, right? That is all I have. I still have cold chills from this reading. I'm so excited for you. Leave a comment down below if you pick this group and if you have any prospects or if you feel this coming on soon. Ugh, I just want to talk about it. If this did not resonate with you at all, which I hope it did because this is some good ass energy, please feel free to pick another number. But as always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and I do mean that. This was a fucking pleasure. I loved it. Thank you so much for everybody who clicked on this because I pull for the people I know that are going to watch it. So it was your collective energy that allowed me to experience this with you. And I do hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you so, so much. Number two, what is their love language like? Let's look at that first. Words of love. So they're going to speak it to you. They're going to make sure you know how they feel. They're going to make sure you know how they feel by saying it to you affirming things, constantly being like, I love you, constantly telling you that you're pretty, constantly expressing that they value you. And we also have realization. So I feel like a big part of this love language is that they realize what's right in front of them. Now, as far as who are they? Queen of Pentacles, the star, temperance, the empress, four of swords, the high priestess, damn. I feel like some of you may be in a same-sex relationship and this girl has got it going on. She's mysterious. She's divine. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of you that have clicked on this, you might be in a same-sex relationship. So keep that message in mind. I'm going to continue on. And I'm not saying you necessarily have to be. Not at all. I'm just saying if a same-sex person has a same-sex person, was that offensive as fuck? I I am bisexual. I don't know why I'm fucking up and worried about being offensive. It's beyond me. If you are not in the LGBTQ community, this is still for you. I'm just saying that is something that I picked up on. Now, as far as who they are, 
first of all, they are a go getter here with the chariot. And honestly, I'm getting the message that you could potentially meet at work. We also have temperance. So they are an incredibly balanced person. They are not quick to anger. They also are not that quick to get excited either because they are just super balanced in everything that they do. However, um, also there could be, um, either you could be a mother or they could be a mother. Again, if we're talking same sex or they could be a father, although I feel like the emperor would have come out, but, um, the high priestess and the empress coming out. These are two boss ass bitches. So they either feel this way about you or they have grown up around women. So maybe he was born to a single mother and he, he understands what he's looking for and he understands how to value women and he sees these qualities in you. Four of Swords is all about recharge and rest. So again, this is a very balanced person. I also feel like they're going to be a homebody. I don't think that they're going to want to go out a lot. I think they're, they're going to want to be at home. Comfortable, Netflix and chill type of person. With the star, this person is very healing. Um, and just very calm. Again, they're such a, they're just like a chill ass person. They're super laid back. And, and that in itself is healing because while they are so go get them with the chariot, so they, they're a hard worker, but it's almost like work hard, play hard, but their idea of play hard is just to like kick back and watch TV and not talk about work and just enjoy you. We also have Queen of Pentacles, which is like the earth mother. Man, I am telling you, if you're, if you are not interested in women, Maybe if you are flirting with another number, go pick that one because there is like hardcore feminine vibes coming from this. Now, a man can actually be divine feminine as well and a straight man at that. So it could be that you um, and, your, and your divinity are a bit masculine. And so your counterpart would need to be very artistic, very quiet, very calm, very um, hardworking. So not lazy, but just chill as fuck with a little bit of... Um, Femininity, so very in touch with their emotions as this person is. This is like the earth mother, very nourishing, which makes sense with the star coming out, which is very healing. We also have ace of wands, five of wands, seven of cups, and ace of swords. Okay, so like both of these are opportunity and newness. And I feel like this is kind of going to be like what it's going to be like when you meet. One of you, I think, has a, a darker personality. Like, they're not an optimist. And one of you is a grand fucking optimist. <laughs> so, it's like, when you guys get together, it's pretty different. It's almost like, um, I mean, you can just see the imagery of these cards. But this is representing both of your energies. So, when you meet, look out for this moment. Because... Yeah, I feel like you guys are polar opposites. We've got a little bit of a, I don't want to say pessimist, more like a realist. And then we have a grand fucking optimist. I'm not sure whose energy is who here. Um, I feel like they are more of the realist or slightly on the pessimistic side. Not in like an Eeyore kind of way. Not that there's anything wrong with Eeyore, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Which is a certain amount of mystery. Um, sometimes it can represent illusion and deceit, but I'm not really picking that up. I just feel like I'm picking up more on this energy. Um, so they are going to be a bit darker, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's not bad as in like shady. It's just, they just have a more mellow personality. I mean, you look at these cards, most of them are blue. So just like, um, just a chill, like sort of energy. And we have five of wands, which kind of backs that up. This is kind of like a, like a lost soul almost I don't think that they're going to be lost when you meet maybe they will be and maybe your connection is going to kind of help that like a focus so um yeah this person almost like brooding but I feel like you guys are going to kind of be turned on by that I think you like you know the bad girl or the bad boy um and it's not even like they're bad it's just like they're almost aloof because they 
they're just super real. A nihilist. Is that how you say it? Wow, that's exactly the vibe I'm picking up on. Um, hold on, just in case you don't know. Okay, extreme skepticism, maintaining that nothing in the world has real existence. So it's not a bad thing. Like I think there's a page on Facebook called like the happy nihilist or the cheerful nihilist or something. And some of the greatest things come from that. How do you say this? Nihilism. Okay, nihilism or nihilist. It's that kind of vibe. So it's like a bit cynical. Um, I don't think they think there's very many good things in the world, but that could change when they meet you. See, it's almost like they're in the darkness, but they're like, what's this? A lightning strike. Is that a spark? It's a spark. So bear that in mind. Um, we also have heart fire. So it's going to be very, very passionate. So when I say that this, I think I just spit everywhere. When I say that this person is chill, it's not a lack of passion or zest for life. They're just chill, but there's actually a fuck ton of passion in, in this connection. And honestly, wow, this realization card, I think it's going to make them realize that there are good things in life and very real, tangible things in life. So that's all for that part. Now let's see what sex is going to be like. Okay, so one of you is going to be incredibly dominant and the other one is going to eat that shit up you're gonna be like yes finally someone who knows how to grab my hair and do the fucking thing let's get it on let's do it pull me by my hair walk me across the floor and smack my ass thank you it's kind of that we also have seven of cups which really talks about just the finer things in life. So I feel like you guys are gonna be the kind of couple where you'll go out to a really fancy dinner and get all horny and hot and bothered and then come home and have like mad passionate sex just because of the thrill of like doing something fancy. I think you guys just both appreciate the finer things in life. We also have five of pentacles. So this tells me that it's a very, um, when things aren't wild, they're vanilla. <laughs> it's almost like there's two modes. You guys are either making love to be making love and really in the moment together, or you guys are getting fucking nasty, like spitting in each other's mouths, choking, slamming up against the wall. This hurts, <laughs> but it's like, I think a way that you get your aggression out. But it's not always like that. See, we have Eight of Pentacles. It's very delicate and enticing. But this card also carries a tone of like indifference, which kind of brings me back to the whole nihilism thing and their attitude of just being chill, like mm, whatever. Um, but you're gonna you're gonna bring out the side of them that has a zest for life. Four of Pentacles is all about pure pleasure. Now, what's funny is we also have Three of Swords, which is all about pinching and just like. It's almost, I don't want to say annoying, but like just fucking around with each other to the point where it gets to be too much and one of you gets irritated and that's what leads to this kind of sex. Or it's like, if one of you has an attitude problem, it's like, I know how to fix that. And it's this situation. But when there's no attitude and like nothing needs to be put in check, it is very loving and very pleasurable. And even this is pleasurable because you guys are gonna, if you're not on the same page, if you're already not in the mentality of like, yeah, this is what I want, it's gonna bring that out of you. And it will be very pleasurable for you. That is all that I have for this group. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. As always, it was a pleasure to read your cards and thank you so much for joining me and I hope you stop by the next And in the time that I've started this video, the whole day has went by and now the sun has gone down and the lighting is a strange situation. I have like, a lamp just kind of knocked over on its side propped up on a couple things so bear with me but let's take a look and see what your future husband's love language is going to be with you and for that we have courage protection 
and remembrance. So I feel like your person is going to remember the little things. Like they're going to remember your birthday. Actually, that's not a little thing. So they're, but they're going to remember things that like it's always joked about that men forget. So your birthday, anniversary, your mom's birthday, a big part of your relationship and how they express love is to remember those things and express love on those days specifically. Now we also have protection. So I see that they're going to be very protective over you. And with this courage card, I feel like they are going to encourage you to believe in yourself and find your inner strength. And they're going to be just very, very encouraging. And that kind of like ties into the protection because they're not going to let anybody including you down you so super beautiful energy there very sweet very loving but let's see what else we can find out let's see what kind of person they are who are they for that we have eight of swords two of pentacles four of wands two of wands wow and will of fortune man i got will of fortune in a group earlier okay so they are a very um they're the kind of person that everything seems to go their way. So they have just like a natural look. If something's not going right for them, it's almost like they reframe it in their minds and then they can instantly switch their luck to bring about the situation or the circumstance that they want to. And I think that they're really good at seeing the bright side of things. Now with this two of wands and two of pentacles, that's a lot of uh, two energy in there. This card talks about balance and being level-headed and very logical. I think this is a very grounded and logical down-to-earth person. And they're very good at managing daily affairs. So I feel like they're going to make sure the bills are paid. They're not going to spend money that they don't have, especially with it being pinnacles here. And they always have their priorities in check. And I'm getting the feeling that a lot of you need that. You need someone to finally... Be a grown ass man. I mean, that's just the truth of the matter. You need somebody to be a fucking man. Be the head of the household. And that is what this person is. And with this one, um, this is all about kind of exploring your options, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I think this is kind of indicative that this person's gonna have an open mind and that they like adventure. And you can kind of see here that's just like a long road. Um so yeah, they're down. They're down for adventure. And again, this kind of goes back to <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune where it's like everything just seems to go their way. It's like they want something and then suddenly the door opens up and then they have to decide which option do I want because they're really good at getting whatever they want. They have, they have options. Uh, let's see what else we have. Eight of Swords. And this card actually came out in reverse and I wasn't going to read it in reverse because I'm like really focusing on positive things here but this card is all about restriction and confinement and it coming out in reverse tells me that this person really hates that um they don't like to be micromanaged at work they don't like to be told that they can't go out with their friends at nine o'clock because here's the thing about this person they're going to do right and so if they have made the decision i'm going to go hang out with my friends you know my dude friends at the bar um, I don't think that they would make a habit out of it. And so when he's to the point where he needs that dude night, he needs that dude night. And if you were to tell him no, that he can't, it, he's going to hate that. So you're kind of dealing with that kind of person because he's so logical and protective of you that he, his intentions are never going to be ill towards you. And he knows if I want to go out, like, that's it. He just wants to go hang out with his dude friends. And he, he this person's going to need you to trust that because it's going to crumble the very foundation of everything if he feels like he doesn't have that freedom to be and to make those decisions for himself. And again, I don't think he'll make a habit out of it. But when he does need that, understand that it's because he needs that. And he may not vocalize that to you because to him it should be a given. So that's just a little heads up for that. We also have the Four of Wands, which is all about being the backbone of the family, which is crazy because I think earlier I was talking about he, he's the head of the household. He is foundation. I think I said that word earlier too. That's crazy. Um, 
and just a really happy home. This man wants to build a happy home with you and be safe and secure, but also free, um, free to explore or for instance, free for you to, you know, go out with your girlfriends, him go out with his guy friends. He wants absolute stability and security and that includes trust. So we also have four of cups, three of wands. Did, no, we didn't have that. Oh, I really thought we did. Eight of pentacles. So this eight of pentacles card here goes right back to this man does not shy away from putting in the work that this man, oh my God, I'm having insane deja vu. This man will put in the work that needs to be put in. He's a very, very hard worker. He knows what needs to be done. He puts that ahead of everything. His priorities are in check. Uh, the world, the will of fortune. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> with the world here, it shows that he's a complete person. He's very well-rounded, which goes back to this two of pentacles with balance. He's just really complete in who he is. He knows, and some of you may think that what I'm about to say is a bad thing, but trust me when I say that it's not. He does not need you. He wants you. And honestly, you want to marry the man that wants you, not the man that needs you. If a man needs you, what happens when you can't provide what that man needs anymore? And what happens when you exhaust yourself? And what happens when you want to go out with your girlfriends and or you just cannot be there in that moment. What happens then? So you want a man who wants you around, who's got the patience and understanding that I'm a full and complete person, even without you, but I like what we have together. And that's what you're going to have with this person. Three of Wands is all about the future in this deck and envisioning the future. So I think right away, he is going to um, know instantly that he sees a future with you and he's going to put in all of the work that he needs to to make sure that that happens because again this man wants you he does not need you so because he wants you he's going to do the things that he needs to to attract you which is so interesting because on this particular deck this eight of pentacles is a spider building a web so he's he's trying to attract you and he knows to attract you He's got to have his shit together and come correct because if you don't already know your self-worth by the time you meet this person, you're going to know your self-worth and he knows that. Um, we also have this card, which can mean a couple of different things. Four of Cups is usually about greed or discontent. Um, I think that this could either be a heads up, like look out because he he can tend to be a bit greedy but I just don't think so I think more than anything it's talking about how in his past this this was his energy however he's moved out of that and I think that that's part of what has made him this well-rounded person I think probably prior to being the person that he is now and meeting you, he constantly felt like he had to, he did get discontent a lot and he was a bit greedy or self-absorbed, I guess, like coming from his lust for life and he didn't let anybody get in the way of that and he probably um, had a couple breakups over it and learned his lesson and I think this is where he's coming from and that is what is allowed him to be such a full and complete person because he, I don't know, it's like he just had to realize I can't be this way if I want somebody because I don't think he's ever needed anybody. But he's learned if I want someone, I can't, I can't be this guy. I can't sit in discontent with any arena of our relationship and expect them to stick around. So these are, these are kind of like the battles that he's had to face. And he has, especially by the time you guys get together. I don't know about now, but we're talking about your future spouse. So now let's get into the juicy part. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. I did pull this fire and ice card and this one talks about how you guys are very different, but you're very complimentary. Like, I don't think you're this kind of person. <laughs> I think that if anything, you're on the exact opposite end of the spectrum, but this balance is going to mesh together so well. Opposites attract. And that is the situation that's going to be happening here. Now, the juicy part. What is your sex life going to be like? We have three of wands. 
we have three of wands and this card is all about savoring kisses they love to kiss you i think that they're going to be very attracted to your lips maybe you have nice thick full lips um, but they they genuinely enjoy kissing you not just get to the next step they they really like it we also have ten of swords and this card is all about squeezing <laughs> like he wants to feel your skin under his fingers and like really just I don't know almost like your body is like play-doh and he's trying to like form something out of it he just wants to get in there and just squeeze and feel around he probably likes to pinch nipples not to get too explicit here although I do have a disclaimer that it's explicit so love love loves to um to play there this card is very interesting <coughs> This is the High Priestess, and I don't know if you know what edging is. If not, I'll look it up. I'm not going to get that explicit, but, but they are definitely into edging and waiting and seeing how far they can make you wait before the release or for him. There's just, he's going to like a certain amount of dragging it out until it almost feels like torture, and then he's like, okay, let's go. He gets off on that. And in this deck, it's all about attachment. So it's like when he, when he has sex with you, it's very emotional because he's super attached to you. And I think that that comes from this protection. So it's like, I don't think you guys are going to have very kinky sex a lot. There'll be some exciting play. Like if we're talking in terms of vanilla to spicy, I'm thinking like a nice cinnamon. So not no cayenne, but not vanilla either. Just some nice, you know, nutmeg, cinnamon, a little spicy, but for the most part, not out of control because he doesn't want to hurt you and he doesn't want to make it aggressive. Um, it's, it's very sweet and it's very tender. This whole, the squeezing and the, and the waiting, that's, that's about as, you know, crazy as he likes to get. Although this next card is the devil, which sounds like it would be really kinky but honestly this card is just about magnetism um this card can have some negative connotations in this deck but i really don't feel like on his worst day he's gonna want a threesome you know what i mean which again is pretty cinnamon not saying that you you know have to give him that in order for him to be satisfied. I don't think you do. I think this is just saying, I think this is in his personality, but it's not going to be in his personality with you. Like, I do think he would be interested in orgies and liberation and a little bit kinkier stuff, but not with you. It's like with you, he, the connection is entirely different. So this is more about just being super like magnetized to you. And again, with this fire and ice card, that's kind of the same thing because they're different, but they're, you know, Wow. Okay. So we also have Knight of Pentacles, which is <sighs> discontent, which is this card. Both of these mean discontentment. So I'm starting to think that like, because he's only going cinnamon with it, there's a part of him that does want more, but not with you. And that's going to be kind of tricky for you guys to figure out. I think you're going to have to be like, listen, dude, no more cinnamon. Let's spice it up a little bit more. And you are going to have to take control on that because he doesn't want to be with anybody else. It's not like he's going to go out and cheat on you. But I think when you guys first start having sex, it's going to be so tender and so sweet and so loving and so different from what he's ever had that you're going to get in a pattern that way and in his head he's going to be thinking like damn like I want to get back into that kinky shit but he's going to feel like he can't do it with you because of the pattern and the history that you guys have and so he's sitting kind of at a crossroads with himself between I know that this is what I want but I don't feel like I can do that with her because he doesn't want to feel like he's defiling you he wants to respect you and I think when he was having sex like this with his other partners he didn't respect them and that's why they're such a hard black and white situation happening in his head about it um but i think if you if this shows up and you talk about it you're going to be able to overcome it because again he doesn't want anybody else he just doesn't want to do this with you because of the way things were and he thinks that that's how it's supposed to be 
So if you are interested in, you know, relieving this discontentment with your partner, it'll, it'll have to be up to you. And you're, I don't think you can call them out on it. I think you're just going to have to be like, Hey, what if we get some handcuffs, <laughs> you know, like be a little bit cheeky with it, a little bit sneaky and kind of let him take the reins from there. You're just going to have to spark the idea that he can blend those two together because this man is not going to cheat on you. And this man is not going to have kinky sex with you. Um, he's just going to be in his head about it. And honestly, I think that's going to bring up some sour emotions within himself because he's going to think, Oh, like that's so selfish. That's so greedy. Like why am I having these thoughts that I want to like fuck her the way I used to fuck other girls. That's not what it should be. We're married. So, None of this is bad, actually. I think you're going to have a fantastic sex life, but I think this will be, I don't even want to say an issue because it's you can easily overcome it, especially having the knowledge. So that is all that I have for you guys in this group. If this did not resonate at all, feel free to pick another number. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by. It has been a pleasure to read your cards. And please do stop by your husband one. like. And I want y'all to look at how many cards came out for you guys. So... First, let's look at their love language. Okay, we have absence, resignation, health, and rejuvenation. That is fucking interesting. Okay. I think maybe you're a person who needs alone time or they're someone who's who's going to need a lot of alone time. But since we're looking at it as his love language, I think he kind of, he knows when to get out of your hair. And it could be absences in like, if there's dishes in the sink, he's going to do the dishes. An absence of bullshit you have to deal with. Um, the resignation because and I believe this because health and rejuvenation are in here. So it's like the way he speaks his love to you is by making sure you can focus on you and take care of you. So he does this other stuff. Like he'll he'll maybe get out of the house for a little bit. I feel like maybe you guys are maybe you already have a kid and like they're going to bond with this kid and they'll go and take the kid to do things or when you do have children together if you choose to do that they're going to be the kind of dad that's like hey I'm going to get the kids in the car we're going to go for ice cream take a bubble bath um so that's how he's going to speak his love to you I'm pretty sure so many cards came out so you know some of these cards may make these cards make different sense but that's that's what I'm picking up on so far now let's see who he is Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords in Reverse, Five of Cups, and King of Wands. Okay, yeah, all right. Three of Wands is all about progression and anticipation. So this man anticipates the next thing that's going to happen, and he's already a step ahead of it. So he's very, uh, I think he's rather intuitive. Five of Pentacles speaks of abandonment and loss. So I think that he, a part of what shaped him as a person is some sort of loss. Like maybe his home life wasn't good. Like maybe he lost his parents early or maybe they abandoned him. And so he maybe grew up in foster care or like a grandparent raised him. But that's been a crucial part of what has you know, made him up. And now it's starting to make sense with this absent and resignation here. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like the reason he, while it's a good quality to, to give you that self care and that break, the reason why this is his love language is because he's always felt like he's getting in the way of something. Like he, he always feels like I just need to get out of their hair. Like I'm a burden. So that's kind of sad, <laughs> but it's really backed up by this nine of swords here, which is anxiety and worry and distress. So you do have a little worry wart on your hands, but, um, I think you're the kind of person that can handle that. And I think you're the kind of person who can alleviate some of his anxiety because I think you're going to help him 
understand that he's not a burden. I think you're going to be so appreciative of the couple times that he does allow you to have like a moment's peace that, I don't know, I just feel like you're really going to express to him, no, I want you around. You're not a burden. I wouldn't have married you if you were a burden. That kind of thing. I think that's really going to help him out long term, which is one reason why you guys are a good pair for each other. We also have Ten of Swords in reverse, and this card is about the ultimate end, betrayal, backstabbing, loss, but it's in reverse. So he's also a very loyal person, but I think he expects this from the other person. This guy's a little bit damaged, you guys. Like, maybe not at the time when you guys get married, because there's another card in here that's it's very hopeful and kind of shifts things. But basically, if we're looking at who this person is and what has made them this way, this is very, it, it's such a big part of their life. I believe that they've moved out of this energy, again, because of this card, which is King of Wands. I'll get there. Um, but this was such a big part of who they were and what shaped them and why they behave and act the way that they do. Um, but he, he is loyal, but he's worried that that is not reciprocal. Maybe not necessarily with you, but just like in general in life, that's been a fear of his. This is crazy how this is all coming out because it's kind of given me the journey of his life. Um, this is about setbacks and disappointments, but a change in perspective. Um, and then after that came out King of Wands. So this is who he was. I think by the time you get married or maybe through your relationship, this is all going to change. Because again, this is for your future spouse. So if you've met them and you're having a boyfriend where you're kind of in this weird spot with, look out because that could be yo man. But, um, if, if this isn't happening currently, then this is what's going to be happening in your relationship and it will evolve into marriage. Um, because King of Wands, that's good shit. King of Wands is like one of the most loyal characters in the tarot and, um, very entrepreneurial. Oh, fuck me on that word. I tried to, I think you know what I mean? The businessman. Um, also like a visionary and a leader. So all of this strife and struggle throughout his life has created the man that he is today. I pulled some more, so let's get to it. Justice. Yeah. So he's like, he has fucking been through it and him coming into this wand energy, this king of wands energy is his justice for this shitty childhood life he had. He's going to have this pivotal can I just stop trying to say that word? Pivotal moment where he's going to realize me moping around and being sad and worried that everybody's out to get me isn't helping me in my life. And that's when he's going to come into this. I love you too. And he's going to be full of just justice. We also have nine of pinnacles, which is um, success and victory, which goes right along here. So within your relationship, there is going to be a sense of a happy home because they've come from such shit that they they know good when they see it now I do think it will be hard for them to accept it which is again either he's dealing with that now or that will be what the relationship is leading up until marriage I feel like you're someone who likes to take care of people I think you're a fixer but we also have three of cups so it's very happy and harmonious and I think you guys have mutual friends that could be how you meet um like at a social event or something. And I'm not gathering that he's, I think he's an introverted extrovert. So it's possible that you'll meet at a social situation, but um, more than anything, this really just, um, you guys are going to have a lot of, of, of mutual friends or your friend groups are going to be the same, maybe not the same friends, but the same type of people, you know what I mean? And it's a very like eat, drink and be merry kind of energy. We also have the chariots. So um, whenever the timeline is of this, it's going to happen fast. So if he hasn't went through all of this self-work, your relationship is going to happen fast. And I think you're going to have a quick engagement and then a quick marriage. We also have two of pinnacles, which just talks more about that balance and that transformation. Um, he's going to learn to become a better balanced person through this love that you guys share together. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that card because we've kind of just talked about that, that this big change is going to happen. Of Swords talks about secrecy and self-interest. So I think he's less than forthcoming about everything he's been through in his life. I think he's just like, yeah, I'm fine. He's trucking along, but 
um, that is in his self-interest. Like, he, he doesn't want to talk about it for him. It's not like he's, I don't think he's necessarily being secret because he's shady. I think he just doesn't like to talk about it, especially if he's already been through this transformation and this is the man that you meet. So, um, moving on, I also pulled Burning Hero. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, <laughs> Burning Hero. So, I don't think that he will have went through all of this. I think your relationship is going to help him. And I think it's it's going to move fast once he gets spits it out. But, like, you're going to have to coax it out of him because he doesn't really want to talk about it. And then once he does, everything's going to move fast. But you are essentially his hero. It's not a fucking woman's job to fix a broken man. So, please, if you are not the kind of person that wants to accept this task, then don't. However... If you do, like if you know that it's in your nature to fix and to heal, I think you're a natural healer. Um, don't make it be a, don't let it be a burden on you. Just let it na happen naturally if it's going to happen. Because I hate when society expects women to fix broken men. It's not our fucking job. However, sometimes it just happens naturally. Um, but yeah, so the burning hero. It's like you're everything this person needed to become whole. And then it's like it's going to open this floodgate of beautiful, loving, compassionate, and passionate energy. So, now, let's get into the juicy sex part. What is your sex going to be like? We have the hanged man. And this card is all about sacrifice. So, it's like, in this sense, he's willing to not get off and do that, like, think about your grandma, think about race car things so that you can get off. He's that kind of man. Uh, we also have the Empress. Ooh. Yes. This is how he sees you. And I'm just going to show that picture again. She's on her throne. She's a badass bitch. But she's loving. She's healing. But she's mysterious. He doesn't know how you do the things you do. In life, to him, sexually, he just doesn't get it. But he's mystified by it. We also have Queen of Wands card is all about watching you undress. He, he wants to watch you. He wants to watch you walk around the house naked, maybe cook dinner naked. He loves your body and he loves the act of watching you go from fully clothed to not fully clothed, almost like it's a fetish. He loves that. And then with this, you guys are going to have some very playful sex, trying things you've never tried b before, like being outside, maybe being in public. It's, it's very light. It's loving and it's light. Uh, and just kind of playful like you guys are just having a good time almost like you're doing it for the first time because you guys are going to have a connection that neither one of you have had before and it's going to give you um freedom now we also have the death card which goes right back to what i was saying this entire transformation that i've been talking about this whole time also carries into sex so you're going to be doing things that you've just never done before and it's going to be so exciting um, and just in a playful way. The Hanged Man can also mean enlightenment. In, I mean, it does mean enlightenment in the Rider Waite deck. So this whole relationship is going to give you that enlightenment to to make this, this radical change and start having all this fun and doing all these things that you never did before. Um, Two of Swords backs that up because... Um, it's, it goes back to that playfulness. He's giving her this rose and it's just like, she's like, hmm, I don't want it. But she knows what she's doing. Like she's spreading her legs and they're just playing. They're just playing around. It's so playful and so cute. We also have the moon, which is just talking about being spellbound. Like you guys are just, oh, you're so in love. You are so in love with each other that it's just absolute just heaven you're just like giving into each other's pleasures and i think you guys mirror each other because see they both have well i think she's she's holding wine and she's holding a mirror but like this isn't like a big orgy happening here could mean an orgy but in this i think it's just you mirror each other so it's like when when you learn a lesson he learns a lesson when he learns a lesson you learn a lesson and that follows you into sex when he's doing this, you're doing that. And it's just so cohesive. I don't even know if that made any sense. I got messages coming in there that are kind of hard to interpret. But um, you guys are just like a reflection of each other. What feels good to him feels good to you. But like reversed, if that makes sense. Duh. Because like you'd have a dick and you'd have a vagina. But you know what I'm saying? 
hope that made sense. Uh, that is also all that I have for you guys. If this did not resonate with you at all, please feel free to pick another number. But as always, it was an absolute pleasure to read your cards and keep me updated. If you are like talking to who you think this might be or when you meet him, come back. Um, I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. And I do hope you'll join me in the next one.